The walls of Norlin Library at the University of Colorado Boulder are littered with reminders to be conscious of the human condition. Inside the building, there's a student who's trying to improve it. My name is Natalie Walter. I'm 22 and a senior at the University of Colorado Boulder. I'm studying international affairs and political science, minor in Spanish, and certificate in peace and conflict studies. It's an ambitious course load, and while most young adults her age are still trying to figure out what they want to do with their lives, Natalie had her epiphany fairly early on. Um, I think I had a lot of formational experiences in high school that really made me interested in pursuing the social sciences. Traveling to Kenya and raising Holocaust awareness in D.C. played a large role in where Natalie chose to take her studies. She says some of the most formative moments, however, came courtesy of a Chicago native in the heart of Broncos country. We're trying to um, come up with a problem statement. Dr. I Mark Thorson moved to Colorado from northwestern Chicago so when he was in middle school. Not that you can tell this. he's from Chicago. And it's been a staple of Ponderosa Dada High School since the mid-90s. Try and come up with a way to finish that statement first. He I might be best known, however, for hosting an annual event empathy, aimed at enlightening helps. the students about global issues. Empathize. Mm -hmm. How do we get people to do that? He puts on the Human Rights Awareness Week. The, the entire school gets involved that week with Human Rights Awareness. and He brings in guest speakers. He brings in people from all over. Uh, that open our kids' eyes. To sit and listen to someone who um, survived genocide or you know something like that and have a first-hand account and see a person who lived through it. Um, I, the students in my class can do get extra credit for going and writing a reflection. And so I've seen by reading what they have written about it that it's changed their lives too. And I think when you have that global perspective, um, I think it can help you solve problems locally as well which is what students are trying to accomplish in social issues and service learning. Exactly. How do you do that? Thorsten created the course four years ago, and for the last two years, it's been mixing students of all grade levels at the high school in an effort to problem-solve issues like poverty. To have a positive impact. Their solutions aren't restrained to the classroom either. The work the kids are doing right now will eventually reach real-life people dealing with poverty in Denver. It's awesome because you can take other history classes because this is consi like considered social studies and you can take other similar classes but the difference between this class and any other class is that you're actually doing something and actually seeing the the progress that it's be like being made and hearing from the kids themselves but we're actually going to be doing something in Colorado so I think that's really interesting. Any ideas count? There's still a lot of blank space on those papers. <laughs> Through the class, Thorson students are also driving a program called the Ponderosa High School Bridge Project, which aims to build classrooms for students in Mozambique. The program has already funded one classroom, and construction on a second is currently underway. Um, two professional grant writers that want to help you guys write a grant for the bridge project. Thorson says these programs, deal. Human and Rights Week, like and this class give the students the opportunity to make mistakes and learn how their actions well, impact those that's, around yeah, them. Yeah, but obviously I don't care about messes. How those projects are implemented and how they do this work is up to them. So it gives them ownership of things and allows them a place that's safe to make mistakes and to learn from those and to refine those skills. And though Thorson is happy with the students' drive mm -hmm. to make a difference Dump in other two, lives, tell you about he wonders what kind of impact he's having on them, on the kind of global citizens they'll be when they've stickied their final post-it note to his whiteboard and moved on. Guys, have an awesome weekend. And those are the things that you yearn for and that you yearn to hear about. And you may never, like I may never, once they graduate, hear about what they do, about, about whether I've had any influence or not. He's hopefully getting a pretty clear picture of just how impactful his work could be. Thank you for your encouragement to learn about human rights, to learn why they're important, to really ask myself what I can be doing for others because that's been very important to me and is something that I continue to ask myself. And so even if his classroom of 20 students can't completely rid the world of poverty, maybe he can take solace knowing he's molding the kind of citizens that at least want to try. Congratulations to the 2016 Secondary Educator of the Year, Dr. Mark Thorson of Ponderosa High School.